Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I'd like to start with an uh, update on where we are with uh, preparing the next budget. Um, Ms. Black and her team and I have made it most of the way through meeting with all of our departments individually. We'll be scheduling the elected officials for May, so as soon as Ms. Lovett has that scheduled, we will get that information out to you all if you'd like to attend um, that. But we are on track and moving towards um, presenting a balanced budget to you all by the first meeting in June. Um, that is a heavy lift, but we feel like that um, we can get that done this year. Um, and, and that will be some time in between the last meeting in June prior to the job when we need to make some additional adjustments. So we'll have more coming to you soon on that. Also, our own Mr. Ashley Ty um, has been recognized by the International Association of Emergency Managers as an Associate Emergency Manager. This is the second highest honor of professional achievement available from the association, and this designation is presently held by only 327 individuals in the emergency management uh, profession, and that is not just the United States. This is an international association. So, actually, congratulations! Uh, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Um, well as you all know, Ashley continues to demonstrate a fantastic leadership in, in getting us through some of our roughest days. So, Ashley, thank you for that. Um, moving on, on Friday, we have our second lunch on the lawn. This is scheduled for April 26th from 11 to 2. Um, our staff has worked really hard to um, work with three of our downtown restaurants, Moe's Mediterranean, Downtown Social, and Jesse's for Grab and Go. I know that you all will be at our annual conference in Savannah, but we had a great turnout. Some of you were at the first one. Um, Ms. Barwick and Ms. Thrasher and um, Jess Gaines have worked really hard on that. We've gotten great feedback from our downtown businesses as well as our citizens. And I think this is a great precursor into the city moving into what we've known for so many years as Brown Bag at Unity Park. So um, that tradition continues downtown. Also next Tuesday, April the 30th, Governor Kent will be here around noon to sign some ag legislation that was approved during this past session of the General Assembly. Uh, we are working with his team on an exact time. I know that there's groundbreaking in, at our class, and we expect this event to follow that, and it will be at the Civic Center. So as soon as we get more details, but we hope that all of you can be there for that. Then on May the 2nd, we have a groundbreaking for our Windstream uh, project um, at 10 o'clock at the Clyde Community Center. Mr. Weisenbecker Community Center is getting some good use already. So um, Megan is working with Windstream on that. So we hope that you all can make that as well. And then I know that this is a little early for this announcement, but I feel like it is very important for you to have as much notice as possible. On May the 22nd, we will have our annual hurricane season briefing from the National Weather Service, and that's going to be held at the historic courthouse in the courtroom because the EOC is being used by some of our other local public safety agencies for training that day. Um, but the National Weather Service is coming down. As you all know, we had a very active year locally here last year, and our weather has been pretty erratic since then. So I think that it's important that we're all prepared. That's a conversation we'll have during the budget as well, and something that Mr. Todd's working really hard to make sure that we've got um, some lessons learned from last year, some um, new partnerships there, as well as some additional news for our department heads and their staff in the event we should have significant weather that's going to result in power outages for multiple days. So that will be on May the 22nd, and that concludes our question. Okay, thank you. Any questions for Ms. Dukes? Thank you, All right, we have... Uh,